News from Africa's Ati Mitungana is at FNB Stadium and joins us live for more coverage. Ati, very good afternoon to you. Much said by EFF leader Julius Malema, and I'm sure you've got some reaction for us this afternoon. Yes, indeed, I do have reaction. Now, this is the stage when uh, the Economic Freedom Fighters' third birthday program here at FNB Stadium gets into the entertainment segment. You might have heard from uh, Tessa Dooms giving political analysis, saying that the numbers here might not necessarily reflect what the economic freedom fighters might be showing at the polls next year. But let's bring in the entertainment element because throughout their celebrations and uh, many of the uh, places that they've hosted the turn birthday celebrations have had South African artists performing. And one of those is a gospel singer, Dr. Dumi, who is right here behind me. Dr. Dumi, thank you so much for joining us on yeah. Newsroom. You have been performing for the EFF quite frequently. Um, um, talk to us about the link between the EFF and artists generally in South Africa. It's amazing. I mean, the EFF has really been supporting artists uh, and truly believe in us. And I mean, I've been doing EFF events for the past couple of years, right? And without fail, like, you know, it's almost like a, uh, up there in the list, one of the things I know I always do. So always a privilege to come through and gather with people here and, you know, and just celebrate the great work that the party is doing. So, yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Dumi. Let's scan the room. I'm going to ask my colleague to pan and show you. That's where the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, right across us, is sitting. The TG, the former uh, leaders of the organization, all sitting around this particular area. You might have also seen the interview that we heard with the deputy president of the organization, uh, deputy of the EFF Floyd Shivambu giving us reaction to what many say might be threats from uh, the uh, leader of the organization following what he said at the gala. And I'm just going to try and get more reaction from some of the artists that are here. Remember, the EFF has really been saying that they support a South African artist. Tibo Tach, I see he's running away. Tibo Tach is running away. We did speak to you earlier on and we asked to talk to you. Uh, talk to us about... Why don't you want to talk to us? Talk to me. All right. Can we talk to you about your presence here as someone ten years in the entertainment one. industry? Yeah. Ten years is a big celebration. Don't you think so? It's a decade. Yeah. So when we see the energy here, it's incredible. A young party born in the heart of Marikana. Right? It's ten years later. Why won't you want to celebrate? Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel that the party really support South African artists given how the industry is like? Look, I'm an artist. Dr. Tubi is an artist. Nduma Sida Dazir is an artist. We all artists. And this is what we do. This is our livelihood, you know. Uh, what you don't want to undermine is COVID really did take a toll on a lot of our lifestyle. And every opportunity artists get to be displayed and be supported, it, it's, it's, it's uh, one that we need to prioritize and ensure that we not just seen as people who are invited for club activities, but politics are part of our DNA too. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. Tibo uh, one of the artists here, giving us a reaction saying that the EFF has really gone out to support artists, especially at the back of the impact of COVID-19 in the entertainment industry generally. So we'll continue, Hugo, giving you reaction here from the FNB Stadium as the uh, political party continues its celebration of a decade of existence. Adam Togana coming to us from the FNB Stadium as the EFF celebrates the 10 years. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon.